Wow. <laughs> yeah, there's saying. all the bling and it's a friendship ring. Sure it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they all say. We hear that one. Friendship. You don't need to lie to us. Why don't we start with over here? Just introduce yourselves and say where you're from. Hi, my name is Jade Anderson and I am from Los Angeles, USA. Hi, I'm Candace. I'm from South Africa. I'm Catherine and I'm also from Los Angeles, USA. From Los Angeles now. <clears throat> Catherine, what most people watching this probably aren't going to know about you is you're also like a coordinator for uh, Who's Not Volunteer, and a lot of people are interested in that. Right. Um, yes. Is there, do you have any way to uh, for them to contact you as a coordinator if they want to get involved with that or have any questions? Um, I think the best way to contact me is on Facebook. You can um, search for my name. Um, I'll give Tom the link, and you can just click on the link and contact me on Facebook if you want to get involved with Busan Volunteer. I will put that in the comments section. And then, uh, Candace, what most people watching this won't know about you, other than the fact that uh, you want a tiara, <coughs> is uh, in 2011 you were the uh, number one chosen guest English teacher for Epic. Is that yes. correct? I won teacher of the year 2011. We had a series of open classes and I had the best class. And Tom was there. I was there but I didn't know her. I didn't but, know him uh, also. Because I, I just blocked out all the foreign yeah. teachers that were in the classroom. You can't look at them or else you just get nervous and yeah. you can, like, yeah. look at your paper. Yep. <laughs> so this is the epic, epic teacher here. <clears throat> <laughs> and then Jade. Actually, I have uh, all three of you are on my channel. Actually, yeah. you're, right. you're a volunteer. Yeah. Yeah. Your that class that I was at is on my channel, mm -hmm. and your highlight video. What most people don't know about you is you are a professional mixed martial arts fighter, and you actually have fought a few times in Japan. Yes. <laughs> and you're going to be leaving soon, right? Yeah. Going yeah. back home. And you're going to continue training? or? I want to train, but I just, I'm just i not going with the purpose of going to the U.S. solely to do MMA. I'm going to go home and figure out my career, but I'll never stop training, though. Good. Well, the first, uh, the first question that we're going to discuss, I think, is a good segue for <laughs> that Jade <coughs> is in here because <laughs> It has to do with safety in Korea, like uh, uh, compared to back home, where you're from, or any like uh, any things that happen to you. And ironically, I would actually like to see somebody try to attack Jade so she could turn around and beat the crap out of him. <laughs> I look cute. Yeah, <laughs> but you don't. Know. That's Jade right. Is <laughs> I try to hide it though, but it doesn't put him always, in a chokehold. Doesn't always work. Mild yeah, glitter nail polish. <laughs> I, I will not, yeah, I do have <laughs> But she's got that big gnarly ring on to leave a dent in your forehead. It's my championship ring for yeah? wrestling. Really? Yes. So. Very good. I, I wear it every day. <laughs> I'm proud of it. Good luck. Have you ever had like a situation? I mean, this, we're in a major city, so if you were to compare major city to major city, it's like a lot safer here, I think, everyone. But have you ever had like a, a situation where you're kind of like, uh, I don't feel right, or something happened. I mean, did you ever have that happen since you've been here in Busan? I know for me, um, I, I stick out a lot more than maybe Catherine does, but I'll notice people on the bus, and, and they're usually all Korean, but every once in a while there's always like the Southeast Asian person or, or the, like the Russian. Mm -hmm. And I, I know a few times I've been walking home and I've had, I've had them follow me from the bus, and the way I noticed was looking there's, there's this one turn off before my house where there's like a CU mart and I would look behind me and I, I would see their reflection in like the mirror and I would just go into the mart and wait and they would follow me in and I would just like stand inside and wait for them to go and that's happened to me a few times but I've never had an actual career like try anything like that it's always it's always another foreigner so and, and they've never followed me actually to my house because uh, I'm still pretty watchful. Mm -hmm. But 
it's it's like nothing though compared to what could happen like back in LA yeah. or other cities. It's been like what, like three in the morning. Yeah. And you'll be drunk just walking home and nothing will happen. I do feel like in East LA, um, going home at night, you don't want to be by yourself walking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But here in Korea, I do feel a lot safer just walking home at night versus in East LA. Yeah, uh, coming from South Africa, I'm very paranoid about safety because we are in our houses by 7 o'clock and the doors are shut, alarms are on, you don't leave your house unless you probably with your family outside, so in your group. But here, I could walk on the road at 1 in the morning by myself, my handbag open, cell phone in my hand, nobody will touch me. They will probably greet you because they're curious about who you are, but they will never come near you. I think it's mostly because Koreans are afraid of having attention drawn to them and having the story spread out on the news. Like Korean attacks foreigner. They don't want that. That's what I feel. But like Jade said, it's mostly the other foreigners that will try to do something yeah. stupid. You do have to be like careful either way. Yeah. Just because I mean, you're a foreigner in a foreign country, and anything can happen. You do feel safe here, but um, I've had. I think I told you guys this story before. Have I? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, where I had kind of a break-in into my house, and I never found out who it was. But like just the previous week, there was a drunk guy like knocking on my door. And he knew my name, he knew where I worked, and he was trying to trick me into opening the door by saying he was from the Busan Office of Education and he needed to talk to me. So Was yeah. this a Korean guy? I am I, I'm pretty sure he was Korean, um, just because of his English accent. I'm familiar with the Korean English accent. Sheesh. But I didn't have a pupil or anything, so I couldn't see, but I freaked out and I called my co teacher. And they called someone, and like someone came, and the police came, and like the following week was when um, I had a break in, and a picture was moved in my house, and it just freaked me out. And after that, the locks were changed. I think for me though, I like I'm definitely lulled into a sense of security, but I don't think it's a false sense of security either. Like I know when I first got here, I would see like, Korea just like counting money on the bus or yeah. like leaving their bags unattended yeah. mm -hmm. and, and now I do that yeah me too, me too. I know nothing's gonna happen no one's gonna touch it and like it, it's really strange because I don't even realize I'm doing it I'm actually mm -hmm. afraid to go back home yeah. and, and just be it. like oh, oh nothing's gonna happen yeah. go to the ATM pull out a lot of cash yeah yeah because you know, if our cell phone battery is low you give it to a waiter and say, yeah. please charge my phone. Yeah. No security lock or anything, and you just give it to them. Yeah. Yeah. And they don't touch your phone or anything, they just charge it for you. Mm -hmm. It's crazy, because at home, if you say, please charge my phone, they'll say, okay, I'll charge it at my house. Yeah, and yeah put it just, in the pocket. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> you, you can't ever be sure. Mm. It's definitely like the Korean culture it can be really frustrating at times, but this is definitely one of the things I really like about it is just the respect they have for other people. Yes. It's just, just like the trust between yeah. everyone. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I remember a friend of mine who lived in Seoul, she had dropped her iPod on the bus. And I think weeks had passed and then somebody returned it to her. <laughs> really? It's crazy. Wow. <laughs> and even cell phones, lots of people I know lost their cell phones and taxis, but they managed to get it back. Yeah. <laughs> what, what's the new one, the Galaxy one? Four? I think it's the yeah, unless it's a Galaxy 4, because my co-teacher had a Galaxy 4. Yeah. I'll probably have to edit this one out. <laughs> and she put it, she had a sweater with the pockets in it, yeah. and she was using it, and she put it in the pocket. She was walking around like, I think, Napo. And then she went to put her hand back in her pocket and it was gone. So somebody had, was watching her on their brand new, she had just bought mm -hmm. the thing, and they probably watched her go like that, and a little bump and boom, boom, boom. Yeah. yeah, so Big it does pocket. happen. Does I know happen. like one of the boys like lost his cell phone in a taxi and he never got it back, so... There's shysters everywhere, you do, but I think... Yeah, you do have to be careful. Like you said, I think in general. But in general, in yeah. General, yeah. In general, it's very safe. Very safe. 
you really, I feel like I can't even explain the safety because it, it's not something you can just say through stories. It's like a feeling yeah. Yeah. where you, you can't explain what it's like to walk outside at two in the morning mm -hmm. completely drunk and have no one give you a second thought. Yeah. Like, and just know no one's going to do anything. Mm -hmm. It's, I, 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 I can't explain that. It's a really just nice feeling to not have to worry like that. Mm -hmm. Do you have any, especially being from L, South Africa, LA, I mean those are, there's some pretty uh, sea areas obviously. Do you have any like general tips, like carry your bag this way, or in walk Korea. hand in, yeah, in or is it just general no. awareness? My handbag is always open, and yeah, when I go to awesome. South Africa, I forget I'm in South Africa, and I still have the, the handbag open, because it's yeah. easier just to pull, pull things out. Pull things out. Yeah. And my mom always is just yell at me and she says, you're not in Korea anymore. Yeah. Zip up your bag. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, I like think like aside from just being smart, you don't have to do anything to move. Like, I think you'd have to go out of your way to just feel safer. Just leave it as it is. You don't yeah. have to wrap everything up with like zippers and like buttons. Do you carry any like mace or anything like that? Do you carry mace back home or do you do anything like that? Or? My mom does, but I I never did back in LA. But just because, I guess like I didn't really, the, the areas that were really dangerous, I just avoid completely. Yeah. Um, unless I have to, then you like lock the doors and just hope no one stops you. Yeah. Hmm. But um, in LA I never did. So you definitely wouldn't need to hear or something like that? Definitely wouldn't need to carry that kind of In South Africa, I would never go out by myself. Mm -hmm. But here, I'll go anytime by myself and I feel completely safe and secure. Mm -hmm. So it's totally different from back home. Yeah. Yeah. I, still wanna see, I still want to see a drunk guy just shoot. Try to push Jade and have her do a pile <laughs> driver on him. I have like little scenarios in my head. I'm like, dare you, dare you. <laughs> that would be Imagine, hilarious. Like, what would I do? <laughs> Especially if it was caught on CCTV and it was on the news. Yeah. That would be awesome. <laughs> It'd go viral on YouTube. It would. <laughs> but you know, it's not one of those things where you like, like I have a skill set, you know, but it's one of those things like I hope I never have to actually use it. Yeah. I haven't right. so far either. I think it's partially like the confidence kind of seems to be like. You don't want to. Yeah, it's like, I know what I'm capable of, but right. we need to back off. Yep. <laughs>